Good morning. I have just pulled up at Grimworth Reservoir. Um, day three, that's six, isn't it? Day three of five marathons in five days. I'm tired. I had a terrible night's sleep. I've woken up and my tooth is hurting. And yesterday I sort of thought it stopped hurting. So if you've watched the past couple of videos, um, I've had an infected root canal. I thought it was all getting better, but today, oh uh, yeah, it's like that. Sure, it'll be fine. We're thinking positive. <laughs> um, I think maybe because I've had less painkillers, it's just sort of creeping up on me. Anyway, it's only a few hours and then I can have some more painkillers. So, how are we feeling? Let's do like a check-in. Head, sort of in the game, not pleased about my tooth. Body, not too bad, apart from we just need to take a tiny moment for the toenail on my left foot. I mean, it's still there, so it's not sort of like a complete having a moment for it <laughs> having passed. <laughs> Definitely not going to be there for very long. Um, I had too many road shoes on, like, so my road shoes aren't as big as my trail shoes but because I was worried about my impact trauma on my right heel I've been wearing road shoes and my trail shoes yeah they're half a size bigger turns out my left toenail needed that anyway so yeah this morning too much information totally but I had a blister underneath my toenail so that's not been a fun morning the traffic's been horrendous I've got here later than I thought I would but I'm here so shall I get myself sorted I need to go and get my number it's like really low rain cloud it's sort of holding the rain at the moment but I feel hopeful sunglasses on the top of my head eternal optimist so let's see if we can run three marathons in three days let's go so the decision I have now is that it's like 45 minutes till the start but I might start half an hour early I'm going to ask these guys because it isn't raining and I feel like I just want to get it done anyway I need to get my race number and get myself sorted and then we'll see Good morning. morning. Fancy seeing you here. Hello. Hello. Um, for I've got my race number. I'm just gonna head to the loo. Apparently it's very, very, very muddy, like ankle deep mud. So definitely back to the van, waterproof socks on, have a bit of a think, change my shoes. Then I'll be ready. Okay, we're on the start line for an early start. Are you setting up? You haven't even put your no, number on. I'm getting stressed. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've started now. <laughs> now we have to go. Go, 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 do your <laughs> Right, day three, off we go. It's not pill start actually. We could always walk the, <laughs> walk the yeah, <laughs> That downhill was a little bit tricky with my poor little toenail. Um, but feel good to have started and we're running now. <laughs> we're not just going to walk. I love this thatched cottage. And actually it's gorgeous here in the Yorkshire Dales looking back towards the sailing club and I've decided it's going to be dry today I'm pretty sure that's how the weather works so uh, I've taken the cap off I've left it in the van sunglasses only that's all that's required well this is running the peace and quiet <laughs> morning thanks path improvements that would be very much appreciated it's easy to feel like you're in the middle of nowhere here. Just beautiful. Love this little bridge. Water flowing down into the reservoir. And then there's a nice long uphill. So that means a nice walk, which I'm so ready for. It's quite windy today, but I'm already super hot. Three and a half miles in. I found the mud. So this flat bit along the dam is, actually it's getting a bit annoying. I um, might jump up and run on this wall, actually, because uh, it is a bit difficult in this mud. Um, so I can't remember whether I said six laps today. Six laps, that is a lot. One more than Jasmine Paris, eh? Not quite the same thing. <laughs> right, this is silly, I'm getting on the wall. This is much more me. There's little um, metal bits sticking up every now and then. So, oh look, there's one. 
keeping an eye out for those because there's lots of goose poo. Not easy to see. Oh, look at the view from up here. Oh, just clears my brain. The gate's just ahead. I've loved running on the wall. Unfortunately, the reservoir is too low, so the water isn't flowing down the plug hole. It's not actually called a plug hole. Um, so, oh, a little fish just jumped up. Oh, but this has been lovely along here. Just had to dodge those little rivets along the wall, but uh, I'd much rather be on that than on the mud. My main thought just walking up this big hill to finish the lap is, I forgot how hilly it is here. And that last mile is flat, but it's really muddy and slippy, or on a wall jumping rivets. So like, oh, it's hill on tarmac. Um, so currently, I'm not overly excited about doing this again tomorrow. Um, so I'll need an attitude change at some point. But I've got all day to work on it. I've just been through the feed station. I ate a little bit of cake. It's early, but you know, I was feeling it today. And I've got a bag of crisps because I'm hungry. Maybe I didn't have enough breakfast. Hmm. Who knows? I'm a bit bored of all the food that I'm eating, so every morning I'm having the exact same thing. So like one slice of toast exactly when I get up to take my um, antibiotics. Couldn't think of the word. Um, so to take my antibiotics with and then a bowl of muesli on my way here. But yeah, maybe it was too small this morning. Anyway, cake and crisps. <laughs> maybe that's why my tooth's still hurting. All the super speedy people who started half an hour after us have started flying past on the shorter distances. Probably the marathon runners will start coming past soon too. So that's nice. Nice to say good morning to people. Um, I'm missing Serena. It's nice to do a lap with some company. I'm heading up the big hill, but I can see for so far on the other side. <laughs> the geese are so noisy. And I just can't see another runner anywhere. Oh, look, there's one, one coming out from behind the trees. Because I was like, where is everybody? That's only one runner. Like, we're so spaced out. It's amazing that on like quite a small reservoir loop, you can get quite so spaced out. They've put in more gates, which I'm not loving, as I like try and film and eat a hot cross bun. We've just been through the checkpoint. It's like halfway up this big hill. <laughs> and then there's a really steep downhill. I am struggling. Struggling with life. Um, got some coke. What did I just eat? Just ate something. A little bit of cake, which I, that's not what I wanted. Just feeling so unbelievably tired. You know when that sort of tired, <laughs> the sort of tiredness where you're like, I could just lay on this wet floor and fall asleep. Uh, like that. So that's not ideal. <laughs> I'm gonna need some energy from somewhere, but I don't know where from. Cause I don't think it's gonna come from sugar. I think it's gonna come from sleep. I think I just need to get this done, drive home safely, and sleep. I really need to finish this lap and be halfway. Oh, I'm just not feeling it. Something's wrong. Like, my food is sort of pissing me off. <laughs> like hot crust buns with raspberry jam. It delighted me all week, and now I'm just like, ugh, don't want them. But, look at this. I was going to say who's this running towards me, but he's stopped. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Are you not coming this way? No. For a little bit? I'll never run away ever again. <laughs> AD. Ah, it burns. Um, so AD did a 20 miler with me after like not running. He'd run like five miles or something and like his nipples were bleeding. It was not good. Um, thanks. And uh, he just said he's never running with me ever again, which is like, not very kind. <laughs> so AD's my PT. Um, 
but he's not going to run with me. Come on, Aidy. I'm sure I can convince him. I'm just finishing lap three, but like, I keep having like micro sleeps. Just like walking like this, which is not the best. I had to try really hard not to do that when I was on the wall, because that would definitely not end well. <laughs> but just heading up the hill now to the checkpoint. Then it'll be halfway. We're not feeling good today. <laughs> That's the reality, isn't it? I'd rather do 75 miles all at once. Doing it over three days, like <laughs> it's just relentless. Two more days to go though. <laughs> Gotta come back tomorrow and do the exact same thing again. Send help. <laughs> okay, just been through the checkpoint and then you can see that massive hill behind me. Awful to go up and to come down. <laughs> Uh, what's my point? Oh, I was going to do like a check-in. Head, gone, tired, can't be bothered, feeling negative, rare for me. Um, body, tired, legs, hate me, feet, unhappy, big toenail clinging on for dear life. But, little spark in my heart that is like, all you have to do to do this is literally not stop. Just keep going. That is still intact. That's what matters because as long as giving up isn't an option, then I'm gonna get it done, right? So, lap four. Let's get this done. Then only two more laps and a little out and back. I'll worry about that later. I've changed my shoes because if stuff's going wrong, change something, you know? So I had on some Brooks Cascadia. They're too heavy. Just like, yeah, my tired feet. But they're big, so I was thinking, oh, my toenail will be happy. Um, I've switched for my Ultra Lone Peaks. Oh, wide toe box for the win and they're so light. So I'm feeling really happy. Not as much cushioning, but, oh. Yeah, I've changed something and I'm still going. Oh, and I couldn't convince Adi to do a lap with me. I thought I could, but he had to go. Um, that was so good to see him. It does make a difference to have some support en route. So, yeah. Thanks, Adi. Tracing up the hill in the rain. You've got to laugh, haven't you? Because what is going on? At least I didn't start in the rain, to be fair. Um, I haven't got a raincoat, that's back at the van. So I put my arm warmers back on. They are like slightly water repellent. And I say slightly with a massive amount of optimism. Because <laughs> this next section is really exposed and cold. Just enjoying this little bit with tree cover. As I come up this hill, the top it's going to be horrible and cold. But I'll be running again then, so it'll be fine. Come on, Nicola. You can do this. What have I got? Two laps after this one. Two laps to go. That feels quite far. Finishing lap four. Right. I need to switch sunglasses for Cap, get a raincoat, get some food. So I've switched my sunglasses for a cap. Definitely sensible. I'm not sure why the sunglasses stayed in my head so long. Got a custard cream and a bottle of Coke. I feel sick. Why do I feel sick? Hmm. Maybe, haven't had enough salt. Might put some salt tabs in for tomorrow. I think maybe it's just sick with tiredness. Either way, it's grim up north today. Definitely is. But, penultimate lap. That feels good. One more to go after this. Can't wait to be on that last lap. <laughs> Cannot wait. What in the name of rain is going on? Literally, I think I've got my rain jacket. Why am I walking? Don't walk, Nicola. Uh, penultimate lap. 
lovely weather for ducks. Um, not for running marathons. At least this goes on over my pack so everything can stay dry. Killing my vibe. I didn't really, let's not pretend I didn't really have a vibe today, did I? <laughs> it is absolutely pouring with rain, but it is making the river more beautiful. As more and more water enters the reservoir. It's not a very nice day. Monday was worse, but like, because we had the promise of sunshine and some dry hours, now this seems awful. <laughs> Oh, why is it so hilly here? I'm absolutely soaked. So at the end of this lap, I'm going to switch my gloves, switch my raincoat for a dry raincoat so I can really enjoy my last lap. I say enjoy in inverted commas. <laughs> I can't wait to get done today. Can not wait. I'm having to use my mantra. It feels hard because it is hard because it's not because I can't do it or I'm a rubbish runner or anything other than three marathons in three days. It's hard. So feels hard. Feels hard because it is hard. But I'm getting it done. I'm just heading along the wall, but I don't know how that happened. But that horrific storm is literally blown over. Oh, I'm so tired. I feel a bit wobbly. Got the best on a wall. But look at this now. So it looks like my final lap might be a good one. So I've taken my cap off. I cannot wait to take this soaking wet jacket off um, and get rid of my soaking wet gloves. They're actually making my hands really cold now. Um, I'm just soaked. Can't believe how heavy the rain was. And uh, how quickly it's just totally disappeared. Anyway, I need to concentrate on this wall. Final lap. If that car is coming up here, literally, every time I've been on this bit, a car has come. Why? Like, hardly any cars come here. Oh, it's not. Look at me getting all <laughs> annoyed about something that's not happening. <laughs> that is indicative of this crappy mindset that I am in. Um, I'm just so tired, but, do you know, fueling when you don't want to fuel is grim. Um, just eating a custard cream. I'm now eating another one. I haven't really fueled for ages. My hot cross buns still in my pocket. Um, and that's not good, is it? I need to keep eating. So I'm trying. I'm actually quite enjoying this custard cream. Um, oh, just want to be at the finish. I could totally nail a bacon sandwich though. Um, and I'm dry, I've changed my jacket. I'm actually feeling good. Should have put my sunglasses back on because now my hair is going everywhere. Proper hat hair. Never mind, that's the least of my worries. The absolutely awesome news is that next lap, so I do one more lap and then there's the little out and back, but the little out and back finishes at the top of this hill bit, which I know that doesn't sound amazing, but it is because we don't have to drop down the other side because look how high we are above the reservoir. I've got company, I'm just running with Vicky and it occurred to me that I hadn't filmed a waterfall yet. There's a lovely little waterfall there. We're both absolutely motivated by the bacon sandwiches. So we are hurrying to the finish. Somehow we are finishing in glorious sunshine. I, look at this. It's actually the perfect day now. Can't believe it. So just to the checkpoint and then a little out and back. Really trying not to trip over these rivets. I don't want it to go wrong now. <laughs> then I'm going to get home. I'm going to desperately try to get back in time to get a poppy from dance club. I've got a contingency plan in place. Thank you, Francis. Um, she really just wants to come home. It's been a hard week for her. Early mornings, passed from pillar to post, poor child. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get this done. Um, and then not think about tomorrow until much later on. 
because I, <laughs> I need to recover from today first. Just passed through the start and finish. They've just put the bacon sandwiches on. So literally just going out here 0.3 of a mile and then back. Can't believe I'm nearly done. Look at the blue sky. It's unbelievable now. It's just so beautiful. So just running into the finish. Oh, to bacon sandwiches. I'm so excited. Look, what a glorious day. We're about to run into the finish. I've just got my car key out. I'm gonna head to the car to grab my antibiotic. I mustn't forget to take that. Um, and then go and eat a bacon sandwich, have a drink, and then dash back to Leeds. I really hope that I can be there on time for Poppy. I've oh, been dreaming about this. Oh, there's a bug on it. The bugs cannot have this because I need it. Um, so yeah, Vicky and I, we finished and so good. Well, I reckon today was an absolute success. So, got my medal. I drove back and I picked Poppy up from dance club. So, winning. Making it through today was not easy. I um, hope that that's come across on the video. That was a really, really, really difficult day. My toenail is so painful that I couldn't even drive back in shoes. I had to take my shoe off. Um, so I'm not looking forward to taking the tape off. Oh, actually, have I even explained? So <laughs> I know I said this morning that it wasn't great, but I taped it up because I was thinking that if my toenail falls off, I don't want it to like lodge in my foot runners are so gross aren't they so yeah i taped it <clears throat> but i'm sort of not looking forward to taking the tape off um i'm hoping that i go into tomorrow with 10 toenails or am i it hurts so much do i just want it gone <laughs> the realities of running yeah it was totally my fault i wore road shoes on day two when i shouldn't do because my road shoes aren't a size bigger or even half a size bigger and your feet do swell up the day after you've done a marathon so that is something i knew um i think i was just mindful of my impact trauma on my right heel and wanted the cushioning from some proper road shoes but my toenail is paying for it anyway that's enough of that because that's totally gross um so what am i saying i've got my medal i think this is why today went so badly so at the start of the day i had four of these it's a hot cross bun half a hot cross bun with raspberry jam I've loved those all week and just today I just thought that is the worst thing in my life. I just couldn't think of anything worse than eating it. So I've not fueled amazingly today, not sure I've drunk enough. So salt tablets for tomorrow, I'm going to go and dig those out and put those in my pack, get stuff ready. Oh, I feel exhausted, utterly exhausted. So I need an early night. Huge thanks to Team Grimm yet again being out there all day in the weather was just crazy today so yeah we started in like wind but quite a nice day threatening rain but then that cleared up a bit and then what was that like the heavy rain and it was hail at one point and then finished in glorious sunshine so we've had all the weather so yeah huge 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 thank you and thank you for the bacon sandwich it wasn't a bacon sandwich what was it it's like four hot dogs in a bun with loads of ketchup and that made my life um and yeah i had to take my antibiotics with those so that was very much appreciated because i needed that so thank you team grim thanks to all the volunteers thank you to serena for the company on the first lap and vicky for the company on the last lap that made such a difference um so that was great thanks to you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video i'm really sorry about all the toenail chat <laughs> hopefully there'll be less of that but in reality it's gonna be more of that in the next video because um yeah <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna affect my marathon tomorrow i'm not sure how and yeah all the usual things if you have enjoyed the toenail chat give it a like no no like give it a like anyway nobody enjoys toenail chat uh, subscribe for more running adventures for day four of five i can't believe tomorrow's day four i'm really excited about that actually so one, two, three, done. Only two to go. It's getting hard now. But I'm loving it still. I've paid for this, I've chosen this. I love the challenge. So yeah, I will see you on my next running adventure, which is tomorrow.